Stop struggling with ACSM's installation. I'll walk you through step by step so even beginners can do it with ease. Hello principals, deputy principals, departmental heads, teachers and school administration assistants. Have you ever wanted to set up your own school administration system? Well, you are lucky today because I'm going to walk you through the installation of SSMs in a simple and straightforward manner. First thing first, let's talk about SSM. This software is designed to help educators and admin assistants efficiently manage students' attendance, making the process seamless and hassle-free. It has a built-in function which enables it to generate record sheets, term schedules, and learner's report cards. With ACSEMS, say goodbye to the days of manual tracking and welcome a more automated and organized approach. Teachers usually face challenges when it comes to manually tracking the students' attendance. The process can be time-consuming, prone to errors, and overall inefficient. However, SSMs comes to the rescue by simplifying the entire school administration systems. Let us now dive to the most exciting part, the step-by-step -step installation of SSMs. Thank you very much. Now we have reached the most interesting part of this um, tutorial, which is the installation of the SSMs. Remember, SSMs stands for the South African school administration and management system which is the software which is used in schools to make sure that uh, the data is captured on it different types of data is captured on this particular software called SSMs. right so now i'm going to take you through the installation process in terms of what is it that we are expected to do remember SSMs is the data source for the triple d which is the data driven district the dashboard that normally uh, process uh, the information from uh, the um, south african schools through software called ACSMs. so ACSMs serves as the data source for the information that goes into the triple d the data driven district okay but uh, Another thing that I need also to indicate is the fact that the data has to be validated first before it gets into the triple D. So there is a tool which is called Valistrata, which is used to validate the data that comes from SSMs and clean that particular data to ensure that as and when it gets into the triple D, it has been validated. All right. So the starting point should be the installation of SSMs. Hence, um, I have dedicated this time today for us to look at how do we get to installing SSMs um, in our laptops, systems, or desktop, okay? Right, without any further ado, let's now look at how do we get to installing the program, right? I'm gonna go to my desktop, then we look for the um, a browser okay your internet browser we have the internet explorer and then we i also have chrome all right so you decide which one do you want to go for okay so it's up to you to decide so i'm gonna use um chrome as my browser let me click on chrome then uh, the next step that i'm going to do is to choose the account here on my laptop right let me maximize my window so that you can see I'm here on the Google search engine, okay? So what I need to also indicate is that uh, SSMs, it's located in the education portal, which is called Tuto, all right? So the first thing that you need to start with here is to type Tuto, because I've recently searched for um, Tuto, it's still uh, popping up there. If it doesn't pop up, you're, you are, going to be expected to just type in Tutong portal all right let me click on it right now it's going to take me to the list here then i'm going to go for the one here uh, this is the one that i'm looking for the national education portal all right we click on it it's gonna take us to this particular menu now then when we are on this menu the next thing that we need to do now is to um look for the third option 
uh, on the menu here okay the third option is the one that says uh, education administration all right that is the one that we need to click on okay i have clicked on that one right now it's loading as you can see it has now completed uh, to load right so then uh, the next thing that we need to do when we are here is to look for the installation setup all right here is the installation uh, setup um, you, sh you, sh you will remember that uh, we are installing SSMs for the first time in our system so therefore we're looking for this installation file full setup this is the one that we're looking for so if maybe we were just looking for the latest patch that has been uh, released to improve the existing SSMs uh, software which has been installed in the laptop or in your system already will look for the latest patch but this time because we are installing SSMs for the first time we're looking for this first time um, in installation file in this um, education portal right let me now click on it so that is what it is doing depending on the speed of your lab um, internet uh, sometimes it might take you longer or sometimes not long it's not a big file this installation file that I'm uh, downloading it's a small file all right so um, it's gonna conclude uh, in no time so when you have SSMs having been installed in your system it is going to make things easier at school remember uh, you have to capture the information of learners in terms of um, um, attendance in terms of teachers of attendance um, governance information all right so the the there are different modules that you find in ssm so when it is installed in your um, system you will be able to do various um, aspects that have to do with the administration uh, at the school level so it is a very important uh, program for you to have and it is mandatory uh, for all the schools in south africa to ensure that uh, you have this particular program installed um, in the system okay let's look at that um, it is still um, installing so for the purpose of us not um, taking long i'm just gonna pause the video now and uh, give time for my system to conclude the uh, downloading of the program so that uh, after it, it, it will have um, concluded to download then we're going to um, start or begin with the process of uh, installing ACSMs. Yes, now the process of the installation or the downloading rather has now concluded as you can see there it is all right so what i'm going to do is to click on that uh, show folder show in folder then here it is it is in a zipped folder okay compressed zipped folder ssms and this is version uh, 24.0.0 okay that is the latest version of ssms at this point in time so what you do you're going to right click on the zipped folder and i'm gonna choose open all right i've got a special software uh, installed on my system which is gonna extract the information uh, or the folder so that i get the um, folder which is inside which is having the installation file all right let me extract and click ok now it is um, extracting i think the extraction process has now been concluded let's get to the um, program or the folder here it is here's the folder now I'm gonna double click on it to open it up as you can see there is the icon of ACSMs right so what we do now we right click on the folder let's right click on the folder and choose open all right it after that what what you're going to do you're now gonna um, go to your uh, this PC icon on the desktop okay then what you do you double click on it okay you want to locate your your ssms that you have already installed all right now what you do you go to the c drive then double click on the c drive then go to program files choose the folder program files right you go to edusol sams there it is this 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 is the folder where ssms has been installed okay you double click on it 
and then you go through that you can see there is the icon so in order for you to have this particular shortcut on your desktop you can simply right click on it and then uh, choose send to uh, desktop okay to create a shortcut all right so this is what i mean all right when you look at my uh, desktop here here this is the icon of ACSMs. that is uh, the shortcut that i've created so now you can open up the software let's double click on it to open it up as you can see it is opening up so that we can begin to put the necessary details right there it is in your case possibly it's gonna say that you don't have any database you're gonna click on the icon that says create a database so here because i've already created a database for the purpose of this particular exercise we have the name of the school there it's called gezani primary school all right then we click on continue then just accept and then uh, put in your username administrator right then you put in the password right there it is it, it has now concluded the process of opening up all right this is the main menu of the software the south african um, administration and management system all right so as you start um, for the first time obviously you have to, you will have to start from uh, the first one the first one which is this one here you're gonna start with the first one there which is the school general information then the human resource then you see there you're going to start to capture the educators information learners information all right in that order until wherever you decide to end depending on what you are using the program for all right so in terms of the capturing of um, learners marks and the production of um, schedules and the report cards uh, this is the module that you will find yourself working on the curriculum related data okay you can also have the uh, timetabling which is the one that you can use to design your timetable all right so these are the different modules that are located in ACSMs. when you click each of uh, these modules you'll find that there are sub modules inside uh, wherein you can capture different uh, types of data based on what is um, it's needed by your school so it's a very important um, um, software to have and uh, it makes things easier so as i've seen, indicated you start with the first one the general information then you add uh, the next modules in that order they will follow one after the other in that way until you will have concluded the the the, the last one there so basically that is how you get to installing ACSMs in your uh, system thank you very much for being with us today um, we highly appreciate if you like this video please don't forget to uh, like it and also comment and uh, of course uh, click on the subscribe button so that whenever we release new videos you can get a notification about that thank you very much I'll see you in the next video.